okay here is the finished project so <clears throat> this is dotty dog from get along gang miss piggy from muppet babies papa smurf uh a popples i don't know if you guys ever heard of popples before but popples are awesome and uh baby kermit from muppet babies and then I don't know why I chose to do the Monchichi in these colors, but I like it. It's cute. And then um, Rainbow Bright and her little Sprite buddy. She's got a bunch of Sprite buddies, but I, I did that one. Yep, I hope my niece loves it. Hey everybody, so I just wanted to get on here and talk for a minute. Um, give you a little update. I don't know what's going on health-wise, and I need to go to my doctor. But the last time this happened, I was on metformin for diabetes, and it... I guess I was allergic to it or something, and it started um, killing my kidneys. I went into renal failure. Um, I think I was at like 50-something percent, maybe 40. I don't even know. I was took off that, uh, off metformin. They gave me like a month or so and my kidney function went back up to 60 percent and the doctor was like you know well that's that's pretty decent he's like you know it's all right you know at least you're not below 50 so i've been on this new insulin shot and i only take it once a week but uh yeah i've been losing weight on it but now it's starting to get to where I am not hungry ever. Like, I could just go and go and go and not even eat anything. So, that's kind of concerning. Especially because, you know, within the last two days, all I've had to eat is half of a Totino's pizza. And I couldn't finish it because it started making me nauseous. So. That's a little concerning. Considering what happened last time. Last time I was on all kinds of medicine. You know it was 2019. It was whenever I was going through. You know. When I was going through. Not being in my right mind. Um. I got to where I was nauseous every time I tried to eat something. Um, my, ap my appetite was kind of wishy-washy. Like, I don't know if, it's, if it got as bad as it did as it's getting now. But now, it's just like every time I think about food, it just makes me, like want to vomit and if anybody knows me I like food a lot <laughs> so this is really weird and I'm kind of thinking what if I'm going into renal failure again so I don't know I've just been feeling very tired and lethargic and I don't want to eat anything and um I just don't feel very good anymore but I was doing good and now I'm not doing so good and I went up on the dose of my insulin shot last Thursday so in three days I have to take it again 
and I'm just a little nervous about it because I don't know if it's what's making me feel sick to my stomach and not want to eat and not have an appetite because absolutely everything is just gross. Even like drinking a Dr. Pepper Zero, which I love Dr. Pepper Zero. I can't really finish them because they start to just be gross. I can drink like half one and then I'm over it. It seems like literally the only thing I can put in my mouth and it doesn't make me sick is water. So, I don't necessarily know what could be the case, but I'm worried it could be my medicine. I don't want it to be my medicine because my medicine is doing a really good job at keeping my sugar at uh, normal levels. It used to drop it too hard, but it's not done that in a while. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of extremely nervous about it. And I actually don't know what I weigh because I don't have a scale here. But my shorts are getting hard to keep up. <clears throat> I have a hard time keeping my shorts on when I'm out in public because they're too lo loose now. So, there's that. But, like, it'd be awesome if I could lose some of it in my face. I think that's what my biggest insecurity is, is my chin. And I cannot stand it. There's a lot of times that I'll do this when I'm hanging out with people. I'll just do this. Sometimes I'll do this. But a long time ago, I worked at this place with um, people with mental incapacities. And, you know, they were handicapped. Um, mentally, I don't know, what do you, he, he, he just, he was in a facility and he used to go around like this all the time too. And one day I was sitting across from him in a living room and I, I did it too. I went like this. And whenever I tell you he went. That made me happy. <clears throat> that made me very happy. It made me felt like. It made me feel like me and him connected. In a sort of sense. But. Yeah. My chin is. I hate my chin. I cannot stand my chin. And it's like, I absolutely hate this angle. This is the worst one. I'm just like, why are you here? Go away. Why can't be this? The, why can't this be the first thing I lose? You know? So, yeah, I just wanted to get on here and talk about how I'm feeling, how I'm not really eating, and I'm not hungry, and I get really nauseous. Especially if I do try to eat something. Yeah. Just wanted to kept, catch you guys up on that. We went to Potter Shop Church. Back in the day. We're going to call this dude. James. Because I don't want to say the real name. Because I'm terrified of, of this person. We. Our church consisted pretty much of our family. Our uncle was the pastor. And then we had like a few people of the community that came. I mean, it was a little country church, you know, nothing too crazy. Anyways, um, we were having church one Sunday evening and there was this guy, these two guys actually sitting behind us. And then the
the people that they had come with um, was sitting next to them. Well, my uncle's up there preaching, and all of a sudden, you hear um, this like noise, like um, like a wail, like somebody groaning in pain. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It was, I don't know, from like the pits of his stomach. But anyways, he was like, there was us and then a, another pew that was empty behind us. And then the pew behind that is where he was sitting. He started making these noises. And we turn around and look. And like, his head's thrown back and his eyes are rolled in the back of his head. And he's foaming out of his mouth. Didn't you guys say the pews were shaking? Yes, the pews were Shaking. Even the ones that we were in? Yes. They Man. were vibrating. I mean, it was crazy. And he started like, at first we thought like he was having a seizure. But then he started speaking. And I believe it was Latin. Um, I couldn't understand it, but I knew it was a different language. Um, we couldn't tell what he was saying. But my dad looked at my mom and, he, or my mom looked at my dad and she said, buddy, get my girls, girls out of here right now. And so dad, dad hollered and he's like, let's go. And we, and I remember left. that part. And as we were leaving, my uncle had grabbed the holy water and he had started back through there with it. Um, that guy was, he was possessed. I mean, oh, I'm going to be honest. The noises that was coming out of him was like sc screams, like <clears throat> noises I've never heard in my life. I mean, seriously. I'm going to be honest. Either I have blocked this out because it was traumatizing or I was just that zoned out because I zoned out in church all the time. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I had to have been about seven or eight, though. Oh, no, it was, it was terrifying. I had never, ever, ever seen anything like that in my life. It was scary. But, yeah. And I do remember one time when we went to the church in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And there was a woman there. And, I mean, she, oh, my Lord. <laughs> <laughs> She was a cussing at the preacher, hollering, screaming, and then she like her voice would drop an octave and she would just go into this language and I mean we were teenagers. We was like, What what the hell is this? you know? Mm -hmm. And they made us go outside and sit in our cars. I remember that too. Yeah, it was so freaking hot. It was a <laughs> revival. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was so stinking hot. And then finally, they let us into the um, the community hall part yeah. of the church. And we'll see. But you know something, our great uncle, who was the preacher of that church, he was no stranger to performing exorcisms before. Right. Had had our uncle at our church? Had he ever performed one? Not yeah. that I know of. I do believe he did call the pastor down in Georgia to walk him through the exorcism. Yeah. Um, I do know that that, that guy um, eventually ended up in prison for some stuff. Um, he was never, I don't think he was ever normal after that, according to other people. Yeah, that's so, not mine. He was definitely uh, something.